Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review is the Boker Low Profile Head Closed Comb Double Edge Safety Razor. Here's a quick look before we really get into it. With this low profile head, it looks like it will be very nimble, very easy to shave underneath the nose, the cleft, any tricky areas you might have. So let's find out. Here's a look at the Boker Low Profile Closed Comb Safety Razor. It comes in this nice looking carton. Here's a quick look at the razor. It comes with one test blade. Made in Germany, stainless, ice tempered. Same markings on both sides. It has the Boker logo on the head, very sharp looking. And as you can see, it's a very low profile head. Most safety razor heads are thicker and more substantial. This also looks like it can be a little bit more aggressive shaving by the way it bends downward on both sides. The handle is squared off, it's not round, so it makes it very easy to grip. Plus these lines that run down the length of the handle, they're scored in pretty deep. Even with wet fingers, it should be very easy to grip this razor. Let's disassemble. It's a three-piece razor, and the interesting thing, this top cap only has a post. It doesn't have the two pins that most safety razors normally have. But instead, it has corners that raise up. They protrude upward, and when you install the top cap to the safety bar, that's what locks it in place. You can see each corner has the raised edge. That's what locks it in place. All four corners have it. Let's install the blade and see what it looks like. It locks down very tightly and securely. As you can see, it does have quite a bit of blade overhang on both sides. It also has slight grooves on the safety bar, but it is a closed comb razor. This particularly low profile razor head with closed comb is ideal for the problem zones while shaving. The deliberately extended length grip is machined from a solid brass billet. The head components are made from a zinc die casting. All components feature a premium chrome plated finish. The design gives this safety razor a very comfortable weight during use that conveys a high quality feel. The specs on this razor, this razor weighs in at 2.5 ounces or 71 grams and the overall length from top to bottom is 3.75 inches or 95 millimeters. I wonder how it shaves, let's find out. As you can see, I do have a couple days worth of beard growth here, so we can see how this razor performs. And just, I didn't mention before, but I will now, on the side of the box here, this Boker low profile closed comb safety razor, it says made in Switzerland. The blade I'll be using today, I'm gonna switch it up a bit. I'm going to use a Voskhod blade, made in Moscow, Russia, Yelena Moskvi. That's the blade I'm using today. And these come double wrapped, and on the outside it says, do not wipe blade. Do away with one layer of paper. Here's the other layer. And here's the blade. Last God, one side. And here's the other side. So let's disassemble the razor. And assemble that blade right over that single post. And then push it down so it locks into the four corners. Reassemble the safety bar, screw on the handle. As I said, quite an overhang on both sides. So when you tighten it, you may want to employ a towel just so you don't accidentally cut your fingers on that overhang when you tighten it down, especially if your fingers are wet or have shaving cream on them. All right, let's set the razor down. And it's going to be a blue shave today. 
I'll go with Parasso, Alo and Vitamin E, and the Blue Tube. And I will use a pre-shave, the Parasso, same, Alo and Vitamin E, in the jar with the blue cap. This is the new jar, fancy jar. And the bowl will be the Chicago Shave Nation Artisan Shaving Bowl with lather lines and the lather spot down at the bottom, made in USA. Comes in a few other colors, red, sandstone, desert green, and aqua. This is Santorini Blue, right here. And the aftershave will be Parasso, Aloe and Vitamin E, blue as well. The brush, the Shave Nation Synthetic Wood Handle Shaving Brush. Let's warm the brush up in some hot water. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. Let's drop it into the water and take a peek. That's what it looks like when it's saturated. We'll let that soak for a minute and also warm up the bowl. It's ceramic stoneware, so it will retain some heat. Now let's see if we can mix a lather. Pop the cap on this Parasso and just squirt a little bit. I'll fill up that lather spot down at the bottom like so. Pour the water out. Take most of the water out of that synthetic brush and go right into the Chicago Artisan Bowl and start mixing. Let's see what happens. Very nice scent to this shaving cream. It's already coming up around the edges. Just run the brush over the lather lines and you've already got quick lather right there. Let me add just a little bit of water, just a little hot water. Lots of lather on the brush and in the bowl. There we go. All right, let's set that down. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right, my face is nice and wet and hot, you can see. Let's take a little bit of this Parasso pre-shave in the fingertips. Massage that right into the beard. Soften, hydrate, lift up the beard, prepare it for the shave ahead. There we go. Leave that pre-shave right on the skin. Pick up your bowl and brush. Let's lather up. Covers very well. Easy to lather, this Parasso. It's been around since, I believe, 1926. Made in Italy. Just cover all the areas you intend to shave. Little figure eight, smooth everything out. Best part of the shave right here. Zen moment. All right, let's set the brush down. Let's clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. All right, here's the razor. Loaded up with the Vascod blade. Right here. Here's a look at it. Let's temper it under the hot water. Should be very easy to shave with with this compact head, this low profile design. We'll start right at the sideburn. We'll cut that sideburn. Just start perpendicular, tilt slightly out, find your angle. Work your way down. One side is filled, we'll flip it over, go to the other side, right down the neckline. Excellent. Very smooth. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, both sides are full. Let's rinse that. Now the left side, same way, just perpendicular, tilt the handle slightly out, cut that side burn. Right down the neckline. Very good. Let's rinse that. Now here's where it should really shine, coming in under the nose, 
We should be able to get under there very easily. Yep. You can certainly get right up under your nose with this low profile. All right, first pass complete. If you're close enough, you can stop right here. But I'm gonna perform another pass. Just a quick rinse. Grab our brush and bowl again. Plenty of lather here still. Now just a light coating of lather for the second pass. This goes on nice and cool now that the most of the beard has been removed already. Little figure eight. Set the brush down. Clear the runways again. All right, first pass was with the grain from north to south. Now I'll go against the grain. Work from the bottom up. With just about any safety razor, you want to shave with the spot where the top cap, safety bar, and blade all come together. That's your angle, and you'll feel it. When you get it right, you'll know. You won't even have to pay too much attention after a while. Muscle memory is your friend. Let's rinse. Now we'll go across the grain. Now across the other way. Across the mustache. Very easy to get under with that corner. Just a little cleanup. Let's rinse that. Whoa, baby. I'm super smooth right now. I could stop right here, but you want me to show you how to... Let's just do a quick on the cheeks. We'll go against the grain. Right here. This will get your baby smooth. Just ride the cap. Put the rounded portion against the skin and tilt slightly up till it just catches and you skim the skin. You just want to skim. Perfect. Same thing on this side. Really nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Baby smooth like glass. You can go against the grain on your chin and your mustache, but for right now we'll just do the cheeks because I'm super smooth. You can check out some of my other videos if you want to see the chin and mustache areas done. Let's do a final rinse with hot then cold water. Now let's grab our Shave Nation Wide Stick Alum Block. Just wet that under the cold water. Glide it all around the areas you just shaved. No stinging whatsoever. It's really a nice shaving razor. Close, comfortable, easy to whip around, compact head, makes it very easy to get underneath the nose. Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and rinse it off. Let's pat the face dry. And some Parasso Alo and Vitamin E Balm right in the fingertips. Like so. It's a nice thick creamy balm. Massage that in. You can do your forehead too as long as you don't break out. If you break out then you may want to discontinue that. All right, beautiful, look at that. Baby smooth, I had a couple days worth of beard growth, now I'm baby smooth. Beautiful. Here's a final look at the razor, the Boker closed comb, low profile, safety razor. It looks really sharp with the gold logo, laser inscribed on the head there, nice looking razor. Very easy to grip. The handle is just a tad thin, but really with this Horizontal grooving all the way down the handle, 
still very easy to grip even if your fingers are wet and as you can see the shave was just perfect super smooth two and a half passes I got baby smooth like glass just fantastic and the small head very easy to maneuver under the nose in the cleft all around a great shave provided by this razor made in Switzerland I wonder if it's made by Boker or some other company makes it for them might be an interesting thing to find out with this blade overhang, you may want to check out my other video that shows you how to correct that. And the Parasso shaving cream, you can't go wrong. You can see it mixed up a lather beautifully. Shave Nation synthetic brush and Chicago Artisan shaving bowl. No problem whatsoever. And the pre-shave, the Parasso pre-shave, excellent as well. Just soften up the beard before you apply your shaving cream and then get your shave on. And then the aftershave, a nice cooling aloe and vitamin E conditioning to the skin, an invisible layer of protection, a great way to end your shave. And before that, the wide stick alum block. All right, that's about it. Please go ahead and click that subscribe button down there. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and then click the bell and then click all. So you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. They will go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. If you want to pick up any of these items, Click under the video where it says show more and you can grab them right there or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.